today I'm going to be finishing up this painting. Um, I wanted to get the start to finish um, the whole entire process in one shot. Uh, sadly, I didn't have enough time to kind of film and document the whole entire process. Also, the camera that I use, um, it's a DSLR, so it does time out every 20 minutes. So it makes it really hard to get the whole entire process without it cutting it um, into, into separate pieces. Um, the whole goal I'm trying to achieve here um, is kind of just show you guys what it's like uh, to, to, to create a painting of this aspect. It's relatively large. I believe it's uh, three feet by, uh, by almost four feet across. Um, it's a really big painting. Um, canvas and acrylic is what I'm, what I'm using for this medium. Um, and the, what I do is basically a lot of marine life art. Uh, this is just one uh, commission that I've done in the past couple months. Um, and I kind of want to just do the whole process uh, behind the finishing um, uh, product of this of this painting. Uh, typically, I would in future videos want to do the whole entire um, from blank canvas to this because, as you can see, a lot of stuff has already happened. Although it's nowhere near finished, a lot of stuff has happened um, from from blank canvas to where we are today. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start painting um, and basically just talk my way through it. Maybe I'll throw up a time lapse here and there. Um, but this is basically what I've been working on uh, commission wise for the past couple for the past couple days. Got some new brushes too. So pretty much ready to go here. Um, in other videos I've actually explained how uh, I like to let the the paint dry for a little a little while before I go in here and do some other uh, little tweaks. Um, but what I've been doing is basically just working on it, letting it dry, working on it, let it dry, and then getting to the uh, final product here. And uh, over the years, I've really realized it's on the detail. So when I'm painting, I try not to to go too crazy with. Uh, you know, heavy splashes of, of paint just because it gets really clumpy and it ends up not looking as as genuine or, or real um, when you do that. Uh, and also, I don't have a palette with me. I actually forgot it, so I'm going to be mixing on this plastic bag. Uh, and the cool thing about this specific marlin that I'm doing is I'm not really looking at any patterns of what a real marlin, uh, striped marlin, blue marlin, whatever it might have been, uh, would look like. I'm kind of just coming up with my own interpretation of what I want this marlin to look like. Um, obviously, it's still got the gold, uh, the gold tint, a lot of copper, the silver, um, the, the, the nice light blues, the, per the deep blues in the back. Uh, but I'm just giving it my own flair of you know abstract and realism in this in this piece. So it's not going to be completely um, accurate to what a marlin would look like, but I do want people to recognize it as the fish um, that it is. Right now the, uh, the frame is still a raw 2x4. Um, I'm using some sort of premium decor uh, white paint. And the reason I'm not using an actual, um, the reason I'm not using actual paint, as in um, acrylic paint or whatever I would have painted with the painting, uh, is because this is a lot more industrial and this won't peel off. And on wood, um, it's probably a little bit better of an idea to just spray paint. It's actually sticking really nicely. And I got three bottles of these. So it'll be one coat at a time. And um, I'm just doing slight strokes, that way it doesn't get clumpy. 
So if you ever wanted to just get a piece of wood, make a bench or something, um, you know, Astor on Home Depot um, and a couple other places. I actually have a couple of friends who do this for a living. Um, and they said spray paint, you could just never go wrong when it comes to wood um, and plastic. So when you're doing stuff like this, it's probably just your best bet to use spray paint. It'll dry quickly. You'll get an even layer, no clumps. Um, and first off, not the nicest area where I'm doing this, but this is just the only place around the house that I feel comfortable, um, you know, messing up with some white paint, maybe on the wall or on the floor. And I'm trying to stay as far as possible, just so I don't get that weird um, drip. I don't want to see any drips. I just want it to be an even paint. Um, and through this painting process, uh, obviously you guys have already seen um, the painting being painted. Um, I do these paintings every once in a while just because I'm busy between work, um, stuff like that. Just like a lot of people have side hustles, I guess this is kind of like a side hustle. Um, we made this out of uh, wood, uh, finished wood. Um, and uh, we used wood glue in between. And after that, I'm gonna install a bracket in the back that has a cable. Cause this weighs a good amount of weight. It's actually really thick uh, wood, really quality wood. Um, and I wanted to kind of cover the whole process through video uh, so people could get an idea of, of, uh, of how, how, how it's made. If, if anyone wants to do this down the line, they could check out this video and see exactly how we went about doing this. I might have bought too many cans, um, but that's fine because I'm just gonna go over and over. And the cool thing about the spray paint again is you can actually still see the, the texture of the wood, which is what, this is really the only thing I care about. I just don't want it to look like plastic or something. And I'm gonna cover the whole entire, any end that will be seen, the other end will be on the wall, so it's not really necessary to, um, to get the uh, other side there. Also, you guys should probably be wearing a mask when you're doing this. Um, didn't have anything with me and I'm outdoors, so it shouldn't be too, too bad. So I really do want to mention that uh, this is something that anyone could do. Maybe not the painting stuff, but if you're gonna be building a frame or spray painting a frame or you're building furniture, anything of that nature, this is something that um, uh, Man Made Customs really does take a keen eye to. Um, and we're actually catering uh, to people just like you guys uh, with our, our, our website, uh, making our home and decor section and auction style bidding. So stay tuned guys and enjoy. Enjoy.